Accountability. And accountability too. And that's another huge thing is to have a partner. When I came home, I was like, I told my dad on the plane, move your seat because I don't even want to sit next to you. I'm so angry with you. And when we got home, I'm like, two weeks. Two weeks you have to take a hiatus from me because I don't even want to see your face. Neither did my family. They were all very angry with him too. Can I ask you so, a question? Sure. Were you angry with him because he gave up on himself or that that affected the team? Like what, what, what were you mostly upset about? I was mostly upset because this was a chance for me to help him live longer. And I had given up so much and he had given up nothing. Like he still he came back to his job. He came back to having money and I had nothing. And I took this chance with him and he blew it as far as I was concerned. And it was over missing his wife and his dogs. Like, and, and having to work a little bit. And it's like, hey, I'm doing this too, you know? And that's what a lot of our conversations were about. Was, and that's what I said when I was trying to get them to keep me on the ranch. And I said, I want to be here, so punish him and make him stay here. Because he needs to be here, obviously. You know? But he, he had made it very clear day two that he was ready to go home. So, but eventually, you know, he went to his gym. I went to my gym. And we did it, very, we did it separately. We never worked out, ever, together. And um, my best friend... Not fat, not fat, fat, <laughs> was very overweight. And she said, you know what, I will be your partner because we can do this together. And you know, there were a lot of people who jumped on the bandwagon and wanted to be my partner. And guess what? They quit about a month in. And you know, but Carrie kept coming with me, coming with me, and she has now lost 80 pounds, and I've lost 75 in a year. <laughs> We go out together to old, we used to be party girls, dancing on the bar, eating all kinds of crazy appetizers at three o'clock in the morning. And now we go to these bars every once in a while and we're drinking Diet Coke or water and we're, having, we're splitting a pizza instead of each eating a pizza. And some people don't even recognize us anymore. And they're like, well, and then the people who do are like, well, what was your secret? What's your secret? I'm like, there was no secet. Have you seen us eating here? No. We, st we started watching our calories and we started exercising every day. The people who work at the gym now know who we are. And so if, you're, if you want to start in this journey with the, with the body change, and it's a great system because it's set up just like a Biggest Loser Challenge with prizes and, and um, you know, it's a great chance to, you're getting a lot of stuff, which when Jen told me about it, I was so excited. I'm like, I wish I would have had something like that, you know, so I wouldn't have had to quit my job to go with the Biggest Loser. <laughs> But it's really great because you get sort of the same experience without being on television, which was not all that it was cracked up to be. It was more of a pain in the butt than anything else. Did your father lose weight? My father lost, I think, 80 pounds as of wow. finale. That's great. Yeah. So, and he, he's struggling a little bit with the eating now, but he's doing still great with the, uh, with the exercise. Although he sometimes calls me and says, oh, I went and was sat in the pool today. I'm like, okay, that is not exercise. <laughs> <laughs> Not exercise. So, but he had a great trainer, and you know, I found a great trainer who was more a, a trainer, and she was a therapist. And because I started to, like Jen said, I started to see who I really was, and I lost some friends, and a lot of it was because those people wanted me to stay fat and stay miserable for them, because they liked me better that way. So, what? We're good friends. That's it. We make good friends. Yeah. But these guys are all my friends now, and they're all healthy and on the same journey that I went on. We can all relate to it, so some of them went further than I did. <laughs> Most of them did. <laughs> all of them did. <laughs> so, but you know what? what a, my point and my advice to you is with this body challenge, it's the exact same thing that I did. I had one week of training and then had to go home and do it in a gym with all the distractions, and I just made a choice every day to go to the gym, there were days when I came home and I cried on the phone with Jen and I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I even, Gail over here, she does this million pound matchup call every week and we were calling, you know, talking to everyday people, being the experts in losing weight. And there were some times when I told Jen, I'm like, I can't do it because I am so upset right now that I'm uh, plateauing and, lose, and not losing weight, but it's your friends or your buddy or the people who hold you accountable like your trainers that can get you through that. Because none of us did it alone, and it would have been very difficult to do it alone. So. Oh, and my dress size was a 26, 28, and I were 14 now. So. Yeah. <laughs> and I think for anybody, like having a workout partner or even having a 
trainer is important because that's your support mechanism. Like I know that at any time I can call any of these people and be like, I'm, I'm having a bad day. Get, tell me that I have to go run or tell me that I have to go to the gym. And, and they'll do it. And having a trainer, the same thing falls into effect because you become very vulnerable when you're a trainer. And like there are days when I'll be working out and they'll say something to me and I just like, I lose it. I'll be like, oh my God, you're so right. It, it, it makes you upset, but it's sometimes you need that. You need somebody that's going to kind of just put you in your place and make you realize that. I still love training. I do too. <laughs> we, we need trainers. We haven't even been there. We still need trainers. Do you have any questions? Oh, wait. Oh, wait it's, one it's, more. It's, one more talk.